Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to show you how to make tow terrain out of these cheap push button lights. Uh, so I picked these up, £2.50 for two in B&M if you're in the UK, I'm not sure where you can get them online. I think like eBay and stuff will sell them, but the, you know, they're very very basic and you can push them and it does light up. So I'm going to try and do this uh, in the style of my scepter as well. So what I've done first of all though, is I took the other one apart uh, so I've got the inside lid and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spray this um, with some Forge World clear coat blue uh, through the airbrush so calf blue uh, just give it a nice thin coat of that so that when it does light up uh, it's a bit more blue but it also gives a little bit of detail on the uh, light as well and then this is the rim itself so all I've done is I've gone through my bits box pulled out a few bits of spares that I've had uh, there I've got now I'm going to basically paint this up in the color of my set so if you've seen the earlier painting tutorials you'll know I'm going to spray it white and then add some silver and bits of blue onto this as well now it's all fine now you'll notice I've glued this and it, it, it's below there so it, it won't sit flat the reason I've done it to this one I'm not going to do it to the other one is because I, I wanted it to kind of sit a little bit above more like a floating platform so what I've done is I've gotten this uh, old Pringles tube and I've literally just done a few bits and pieces I've stuck some of the um, radar dishes and stuff off the back of the broadsides and crisis suits uh, I think that's the bottom half of a drone and you can see that I've just stuck some other bits and pieces on just to make it a bit more detailed and here is two coffee stirrers I basically just stuck on to try and divide it out a little bit as well so I'm going to go and prime these up uh, and we'll start spraying them ok guys so the next step is to spray this uh, with the compressor and the airbrush and I'm using the Forge World Airbrush Paint Calf Blue Clear. Uh, I believe you can use Tamaya Clear Blue as well. So just several really thin coats and just build it up so that you don't get any streaks across the white. And there we go, it lo looks like it's fully coated, it is with a thin layer of the clear blue. Uh, so, what else have I done? Well, I went outside and I sprayed this, just in plain black, and the base as well. So I'm going to spray them up much like what you've already seen me spray up the towel battle suit, if you go and check out that tutorial. Basically, you hear it with wolf grey from the sides and white from the top, and then we'll start and put it all back together.
Okay, so once the grey is done, we're then going to move on to white and I'm just going to hear it from the very top here. Okay, so here we go guys. I've put the batteries in and I've put it together Obviously, I still need to do a few little bits of detailing and paint up the rest of it um, But yeah, that's pretty much it and I put the batteries in And it does light up. Uh, I haven't glued it on yet um, but Yeah, I think it's pretty cool by the time I add the few bits of details and stuff on it's some very cheap and easy towel terrain 